Hey guys, welcome to RPA feed and in today's video, we'll be looking at RPA workspace or rather the place, the UI where you can develop your bot. So let's get started. So here, as you can see, once you install the community edition or enterprise edition, you see these options over here, create a bot. And from here also on the upper menu option, you can also create a bot. So it gives you three options, create bot form or process. And this, the menu, which is there present at the lower end, it gives you option just to create a bot and create a form and create a process separately. Okay. So let's use this option and create a bot. I've given a name RPA a360 verse workspace overview. So this is the entire workspace where you can build your bot. Let me tell you in order to edit or build or create a bot, you need bot creator access. Otherwise you can just only uh, view the code. Like you will get a read only view and not the right views. Okay. Right, uh, right options or right, uh, permissions would won't be there. So you need a bot creator license for this. And in community edition, you don't need anything because you get one bot creator license already. So here we will be having the overview of all the options available to us. Let's begin with the main uh, flow area. Here you can see the flow of your bot in the left pane. You see actions panel from where you can drop drag and drop your actions. Let's say message box. I need to drop message box. I'll just pick it from here and drag drop here. So here you have flow view in which you see a workflow type of your bot and the list view where you can see uh, in line by line your code in line by line format. And then you have a dual view where you can see both the views simultaneously. Okay. I prefer list view. Let, that's why switching over to list view. And also let me show you one more thing in flow view. You get uh, these three little icons over here uh, to zoom fit, zoom out or zoom in. If I say zoom out, it will just shrink. If I say zoom in, it will, it will be a bit, bit bigger. And if you say zoom fit, it will be in the center of your screen. Okay. Let's move to list view now. Okay. And now we will explore the options available towards our left. We have a actions panel from where you can drag and drop your actions. Accordingly, if you're working with Excel, you can type in Excel over here and choose accordingly the package you need to work with Excel advanced, Excel basic or Excel 365, right? And here uh, we have a variable. So from this plus icon, you can create a variable different types of variable. We will cover uh, this in a different section. This is this session or this uh, video is just concerned about giving an overview of all these steps. So let's uh, here we have triggers from here. We can create triggers. Okay. Then at the top you have save, close, debug, run assistant. So these are the options. Debug is used to debug your bot. We will be covering this entire debugging concept in a separate video. Run is just to trigger your bot and assistant. We will see assistant in a while. Okay. So let me just copy paste this block for a couple of more lines. Okay. And yeah, I have increased the width as well of my browser. So yeah, okay, fine. So here, if you see, we have in the top menu, we have recording, we have a couple of options in the top menu. So first is the recording with this, this is the shortcut given you to uh, access the recorder. Basically from here, uh, you accept, uh, you type capture command. Sorry, I was typing in the triggers from the action. You get the recorder package, right? So this, if you click this, 
it will give you the options to record like from the universal recorder or AI sense whatever you want to use you can use it we will also cover this in a separate video and with separate example here we we can find a file suppose you have created 10 or 100 uh, files uh, bot files in your project and you want to search immediately to navigate so you can do that let me search package so I have these many files bot files I can navigate right using this and then we have a find option so here I have used the same message for example here in the in the line number 22 I will have some different message let's say RPA feed okay and here uh, let's let's assume our bot is a, a, a very big bot uh, like 200 lines or something and we want to search some particular text for instance rpa feed here in this case and I, once i press enter it will just highlight that particular text so this is the way you can search any con content in your bot so this is this comes handy while searching for any variables or any specific text right earlier this option was not there this is recently included in dot 22 version earlier we used to do uh, use the control f browsers feature which was not that accurate or uh, uh, which couldn't highlight uh, in uh, the accuracy was low in that case okay then we have undo similarly undo and redo buttons you all know how these buttons work then we have copy items suppose I want to copy this action you can click this and you can paste this so the the action will be pasted just below wherever your cursor was you can also cut paste so you can you access these item from control C control V as well then we have copy to shared clipboard suppose you want to copy this message box or this particular command to another bot so you need to click this copy to shared but uh, clipboard and then open this in another uh, tab let me show you let me duplicate this tab and let's open an another bot here close this I'll open hello world and I want to paste that message box here from the other bot and I can simply use this action here it is not it is giving us an alert or error box because there is a difference in the package version right so using this paste from shared clipboard you can copy or paste this particular code line and how to fix that error you just need to go here in the packages and you need to check what is the version of this package so it is uh, not the uh, latest version whereas in we used in uh, AT60 workspace taskbot that was 3.0 so we need to make this 3.1 change version save return to editor and now it will allow us to paste that message so we pasted that um, this particular line from this taskbot so this is how your shared clipboard works and then you can save it you can use control s as well to save here we get the uh, notification whether your current code changes are saved or not unsaved or saved right and then suppose here in this message box I haven't included any text okay so it is giving me an error suppose you uh, you, you have a big uh, number of lines like uh, there are 200 or 300 line piece of lines and you want uh, your bot is having some errors right so here we get the assistant option you can click that assistant option and navigate directly to line number where you get the error so this way assistant helps us to track down the error or directly locate the error instead of traversing or searching or scrolling through the bot you can directly use that assistant option so guys that's all for the uh, workspace overview we will be covering the broad topics in separate video and this is how you can work uh, this is the place where you can use um, the uh, the workspace or the editor option the UI elements to work with your bot so that's all for now 
थैंक यू इन केस यू लाइक द इन्फॉर्मेशन प्लीज़ हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन थैंक यू